<laughs> Mr. President, there's more of them here now than when I was up about an hour and a half ago. And there's one thing we know is that this man was one of the best presidents this country has ever had. And if there's another thing that we know, is that all of you are going to make him the 47th president of the United States. Thank you, Aaron. What a good future. Here as well is rapper Chef G. Does everybody know Chef? Where is Chef? Where is he? Come on up, fellas. Rapper Sleepy Hollow. One thing, one thing I want to say. One thing I want to say. They always go whisper your accomplishments and shout your failures. Trump will shout the wins for all of us. Make America great again. Somebody with a fantastic future in the Republican Party and beyond. Gavin Wax, thank you. Thank you, Gavin. Adam Solis of New York, young Republican, who's been fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good job. Madeline Brave of Lexit. Thank you, Madeline. Thank you very much. Somebody that's a real star in politics and has done an incredible job and so popular in Nassau County, the county executive, Nassau County, Bruce Blakeman. Come up, Bruce, for a second. Come up, Bruce. Where is Bruce? We got to get Bruce. Where is he? That's a long way to come up the hell with Bruce, right? Come on up, Bruce. Come on. This guy is central casting. If I'm doing a movie on a politician, this is the guy I have playing. Come on. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Both my parents were World War II veterans. Not many people can say about that. They would be shocked and appalled by what's going on in this foreign inv invasion from our southern border. Nassau County is not a sanctuary county, and when Donald Trump gets reelected, this will not be a sanctuary country. God bless America. Thank you very much. National Committeeman and Chairman. Joe Cairo. Joe, thank you. Thank you, Joe. And Andrew, thank you very much for being my star. Star of the future. I heard you made a good speech. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. We have so many people out there. But we're going to finish this up. This has been... I didn't know. I woke up. I said, I wonder, will it be hostile or will it be friendly? It was beyond friendly. It was a love fest. From the very first day that we take back the White House, I believe we are going to have the four greatest years in the history of our country. We're going to restore peace through strength. We're going to keep radical Islamic terrorists out of our country. We're going to protect our great seniors, and I will never let anyone touch your Medicare or your Social Security. Under the Democrat program, 
they will be gone. We are going to restore free speech in America. We are going to fight for your right to school choice, something you all want. And I will not allow schools to impose COVID vaccine mandates or masks. We are going to get far left Marxist lunacy out of our children's classes. We're going to keep men out of women's sports. And we will once and for all secure our elections. But all of this saving New York and saving America starts with telling crooked Joe Biden the worst president in history. You're fired like the attorney. You're destroying our country, Joe. Get out. If you want to help, you must vote. I believe that we can win New York State. We have levels of, we have levels of support that nobody's seen before. I mean, look at this. So register, volunteer, turn out everyone you know. Don't assume it doesn't matter just because you live in a blue city. You live in a blue city, but it's going red very well. We must work together as a team to win. New York has always been the home of proud patriots like you. You are proud patriots. You, yeah. love, this, you love this city, you love this state, and you love our country. New York was the city loved by Teddy Roosevelt, Norman Rockwell, the great Flo Zickfeld, General Douglas MacArthur, George Gershwin, Frank Sinatra, and in baseball alone, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Jackie Robinson, and many, many others. It's the city where workers and skilled craftsmen strode across steel beams 80 stories high to build the great Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building and all of the others. It's the city that lit up the shining lights of Broadway that turned Times Square from a seedy, dirty, long-forgotten area into one of the greatest crossroads of light and glamour 